The sun is out, and it's a beautiful afternoon for our national pastime as MLB The Show welcomes you to this edition of Major League Baseball. Up next, one of the oldest and fiercest rivalries in all of baseball, if not all of sport, as it'll be the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the San Francisco Giants. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler as we get set for what should be a good one. And, Soup, we turn to you first. What will be the one thing we can keep an eye on here? Well, Matt, one key to this game is going to be whether or not each manager can manage to his team's strengths. Clearly, not all teams are created equally, but the manager that gets the most out of his players here will likely wind up being victorious. All right, thank you, Dave, and we'll hear from HUD in a bit. But first, let's get to the Dodgers' starting lineup. It's brought to you by New Era Cap, the official cap of Major League Baseball. Leading things off is the lightning quick Rafael for call. He's at shortstop. Batting second, free agent edition Juan Pierre out in center field. Batting third is Nomar. He's over at first base. Jeff Kent is the cleanup hitter. He'll play second. Luis Gonzalez will bat fifth and play left field. Russell Martin will do the catching. He bats sixth. Wilson Betamid is next. He's over at third base. Right fielder Andre Ethier follows him. And on the mound in this one, batting in the ninth spot, former All-Star Jason Schmidt. And they'll be opposed by the former Cy Young Award winner, left-hander Barry Zito. Zito out of USC by way of UC Santa Barbara. An okay fastball, but it's the 12-6 to hook, the big bender that might be the best in baseball. I look there at the Giants defensively, obviously captained by 11-time Gold Glove Award winner Omar Vizquel at shortstop. Here comes Raphael for call toward home plate, and we are ready for baseball from San Francisco. Underway in this one now, and the first pitch to Fercal is taken for ball one. And that's a good location coming back at his body there. The next pitch. And, oh, that looked on the outside corner to me, but I'm only a broadcaster. It's 2-0. and oh. Here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Throw on to first, and for call is gone, leading off the ball game. No trouble over there at second base. Always good to get that leadoff guy out so you could settle in a little. So one away now in the inning for Juan Pierre. way on here but this is a foul ball and Pierre swinging away but he missed it as the count pushes to 0 and 2 Now time called, and fellas, you could see him go immediately to his arm after he let that ball go, and that does not look very promising at all.
Kevin Correa will be summoned now to take over following the injury. One out, nobody on. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And let's take a look at this one and two pitch on swing track. He's probably gearing up for something off speed because as you can see, he was way late on that fastball. Nomar Garcia Para will stand in for the first time here. Here's the first offering. Swing and the ball lifted into straightaway center. Roberts will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Starting lineup for the host Giants looks like this. Leading things off, the doctor, Dave Roberts. He'll be out in center field. Following him in the two spot is Omar Vizquel. He's, of course, at shortstop. Reggie Stocker bats third and plays left field. After that, second baseman Ray Durham. Then comes first baseman Ryan Klesko. Benji Molina will do the catching. He bats sixth. Pedro Feliz, the third baseman in the number seven hole. Randy Wynn will be out in right field hitting eighth. Kevin Correa will be inserted into the batting order here as he came on to pitch in that first inning. And they will face a three-time All-Star right-hander, Jason Schmidt. People continually seem to question Schmidt's durability, yet he's averaged 30 starts a year over the past five seasons, and he's won a combined 61 ball games over that span. And defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this as we get a look courtesy of Louisville Slugger. Standing in now is Dave Roberts as he'll get things started here in the home half of inning number one. And he starts him out with... Well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. The 1-0 from Schmidt. Hit on the ground towards first. And this will be taken to the bag by Nomar for the out. Always good to get that first out of the ball game, but it probably still feels a little odd for him to be pitching here in a different uniform in this park. But he's off to a good start here in the first. So the leadoff man gone, and here's Omar. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw to first gets Vizquel, and that's the second out. Nice. 
Well, you got that right. This is a long throw, and he puts a lot into it and gets it there just in time. Reggie Stocker will get his first shot at it here. Could be a tough play back behind the mound. Go on to Nomar at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So Schmidt just rolls right through him here. Second inning now from San Francisco with no score. Jeff Kent leads things off now in the top half of the second. Jeff Kent. Changeup too low, and it's 1-0. and Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Luis Gonzalez will take his cuts now. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Picked up by Vizquel. Throw on to Clasco at first and there are two away. Well, that's four straight he's retired since coming in. Good work out of the pen thus far. Russell Martin will step in now. ball out to left field and fairly well hit. Stocker will have room though as he makes the catch and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ray Durham will start things off in the bottom of the second. Lay 
Padres off 1 and 0. And after a very economical first, let's see if he mixes things up a bit. And he takes a cold strike one. One one pitch on the way. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Good fastball there from Schmidt as this is bounced toward the second baseman, Kent. High throw, and it's over his head. Checking out the replay, part one of this play was a thing to behold. But then he forces the throw, and it winds up costing him. Ryan Klesko steps in now. First pitch on the way. In there, no balls and a strike. Ball one. And that's in there. Base hit. Let's take a look where this pitch is. Yep, it's middle away, and this is a location he's had a lot of success with and does it again here. Benji Molina will dig in here. Here's the first offering. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Infield's at double play depth, so they'll trade a run for two outs here. Ground ball to second. This could be two for call. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. No ribby on the play, but they are able to push the run across on the double play ball. Pedro Feliz will be the batter. And there's the fastball by Schmidt as he just pumps it by him for strike one. Here's the ball hit high in the air and fairly deep toward the right field corner. Ethier is back to the track though as he pulls it in and a sigh of relief as the side is retired. So one run here, one hit, one error, and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. San Francisco leads this one, one to nothing. Wilson Betamid ready to go here as we begin the third. 
Jason Benamy. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. Trying to lock him up there with a fastball. That's a good spot to miss. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And just out of reach of the scale, the base hit. Took them a little bit, but here in the third, they found their way into the hit column. Now, let's see if they can string something together. Andre Ethier will stand in. Where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Now a ball grounded foul down the line near first. The runner at first with no outs here. On the ground is short. This could be two. They're handed for one. On to first to complete the double play. Now this is a double play combination that's been together for a few years now, and it shows. That's a perfect turn right there. Ham and eggs. Jason Schmidt will be the batter. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Swing and a miss there by Schmidt, and the count moves ahead to 0-2 now. It's one and two. Two out, nobody on. And now pitch on the way. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail this one one to nothing. Randy Wynn makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Ball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. Nomar is under this one, and he's got it for out number one. Gets the first out of the inning here against his former club. Remember, he had a number of fine seasons for him, so I imagine he has fond memories of wearing that uniform. Kevin Correa will take his first cut to the ball game here. Here's a fastball upstairs, 1-0. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. I had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's 1-1 one one now. And 
And this is low, ball two, two and one. Here he comes on two and one. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Up with it is for call. Throw on to first, and Schmitz got himself two quick outs. Dave Roberts will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. right on the bunt, but this is going to be close. And he fans on the barehanded attempt, so that ought to be scored as a bunt single. Well, speed never goes into a slump. They've got this play figured out. Heck, the third baseman's creeping way in from his normal spot, yet they still can't get the out. Can't do much more than that. Omar Vizquel will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And that misses for ball one. And they better keep an eye on Roberts at first because he could be going here. Roberts holding. Here's the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as Roberts takes second. Well, Roberts is a guy you really have to be careful with out there because he can do this in his sleep. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And he'll be effective if he can keep that fastball down there. On the ground to third. Throw on to Garcia Parra will take care of him, and the side is retired. Giants leave one. They lead it one to nothing. Rafael for call will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Boy, he'd need a sand wedge to get that. Don't give it to him. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Foul. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Center field, so good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. Well, more often than not, your leadoff guy really sets the tempo for the inning. He's on board here to get him started, so they'll look to get him around and tie up this ball game. Juan Pierre will step in now. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and in steps Nomar. For 
balls running. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw, not in time, as Fercal's able to move into scoring position at second base. Fercal's the guy that sets the table for this offense, and he does a good job of swiping the bag there. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And a terrific effort out there as he's able to chase that a long way for the second out. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And here comes the former MVP, Jeff Kent. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And here's one that misses to Kent. It's a ball and a strike. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Swing and a ball hit towards Vizquel at short. And a low throw, but a fine play there to dig it out and then display it in turn to the umpire, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. It remains one nothing. Reggie Stocker will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Schmidt really rearing back now as that fastball gets him ahead 0-1. And, and Matt, you can see the outfield now is swung well around to the right. Now here's the pitch. In there, and it's 0-2 now. This is lifted in the air out towards left center. Gonzalez will camp under this one. One down. Ray Durham will get his first opportunity now. is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as the Giants have taken a 2 to nothing lead. Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Everybody's fastball is hittable if it's spelled high right down the middle. That's a big mistake in location, and it cost him right there. Ryan Klesko will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Now the first pitch. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. Man, you could see him commit to that swing way too early as the changeup fooled him. And 
Plesko comes up empty as he had to rip at that one 0 and 2. Looks like he's having trouble reaching that fastball away. I'd go right back there, maybe even a little further out. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the bag. Don't know quite what happened there, but he couldn't get to the base in time, and that's going to be an infield single. So a runner on first with one out now, and in comes the catcher, Benji Molina. Fastball in there for a called strike. Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. Comes set, now the pitch. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Hard to get the barrel of the bat on that one. Good eye. And here's a ball hit sharply but fouled down the line at third. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. down the line in left and he'll be kicking himself on that one as it's going to hook foul into the seats Come on, let's keep it going. and this is on the ground to short could be two here's Kent for one on to Nomar a double play and the inning is over so one run on two hits with the big blow being the home run no errors and no one left on base we played four full Giants on top, two to nothing. Luis Gonzalez will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Maybe this can get something started for him here. That's just their third hit of the game. So if they want to get into it, they better hope to string together a few more hits. Russell Martin will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Russell Martin. into the seats down the right side. Nobody out, runner on first. And this is right past Molina and back to the screen. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Yeah, this really hurt because the chance for a double play here would have really been key. This pitch is taken by Martin as the count moves to two and one now. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. Now the two one pitch on the ground is short. And Vizquelo throw to first for the out. And that might have been pushing it a little bit as a base runner. You got to hold up on a ground ball to short. He got lucky right there. Wilson Betamit will dig in. He singled his first time around. As a look, now the pitch. 
And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. like the very definition of flailing there. It's even at one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Boy, and they're giving you a run on the infield. You've got to put that ball in play. line but back into the crowd foul he'll try again one two just a bit low tough call but it's two and two Strike three called, and he knew it. Two gone. Well, it looks like the bottom half of the order needs to pick up the slack here. But this ain't going to help much. you got to go. Andre Ethier will take his cuts now. First pitch coming. And he gets ahead 0-1. If you can keep planting that pitch there, you'll be in good shape. Two straight fastballs now as he powers ahead 0-2. toward the third base dugout but this will get back into the seats out of play and a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over one left for LA they trail it here two to nothing Pedro Feliz will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now here's the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1 and 0. And that's an example of a pitcher trying to keep you honest there. You can't always work away. Patience there from Feliz as he's in the driver's seat up 2 0. Two and one now. Here's the 2-1 to Feliz. Fouled straight back. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first is in time for the first down. This is just a case of a guy having to protect with two strikes, and he chased one out of the zone. Randy Wynn will dig in. He popped out his first time.
below the knees. One ball, no strikes. And he's got that thing falling right through the zone here. And that'll miss up an in ball, too. Bases are empty, one man out. speed pitch and it stays outside ball three Kevin Correa will be next oh at the green light there but it's three balls and a strike now he had ball four but instead it's strike two making him throw a lot of pitches this at bat let's see if he's got him figured out here's the full count offering and this is hit hard on the ground towards short up with it is for call throw will get there in plenty of time to put away win and that's out number two well he set down the first two guys to face him here in the inning but they haven't made it easy it's taken 11 pitches here, but he'll probably take it. Kevin Correa will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Short. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Very good inning there for the Bulldog, Jason Schmidt. His club needs to get him some runs, however. It's two zip. And the Dodgers about set to go here to start the sixth. And as Vin Scully may say, let's take a gander at the Dodgers' in-game box score presented by Upper Deck. Jason Schmidt will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And this is taken outside for ball one. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Just couldn't recognize changeup out of the pitcher's hand. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. The pitch. Ball swung on and missed for the first down. Rafael for call will dig in. He singled his last time around. back now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one this guy's throwing more than 50 pitches since coming in so we'll see how much longer they can let him go Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. One out, nobody on. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Well, he got away with that pitch, but when you're a veteran pitcher, those are the kind of location mistakes you just can't afford to make. And he 
tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Juan Pierre waits on deck. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Boy, and he obviously didn't care much for that call. And this is good thinking by Molina to come out and get him to take a deep breath right here. So a new pitcher set to take over now. And it's a guy that's bounced from the rotation to the bullpen. Former number one draft choice, Brad Hennessy. So a runner at first now with one away. And the team's catalyst, Juan Pierre, is coming up. And he won't want to play around here. He'd love to get a double play ball if he can. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. And, oh. and in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. On the ground to second base, this could be two. Vizquel. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. They're still down. It's 2-0. Low scoring game as we get another look at the in game box score and much like the previous one we saw really not a whole lot to look at offensively thus far. Dave Roberts will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch coming. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. And this pitch misses as well to Robert, so he's ahead in the count, 2-0 oh now. A swing and a miss, two and one now. Got on him kind of quick that time, and in a good spot, right at the knees. Breaking ball misses here, and he falls behind now to three and one. Omar Vizquel is on deck. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Board with the leadoff single. And the way things are shaping up, they're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Omar Vizquel will stride in, grounded out his last time through. center field Pierre patrolling center makes the play one out Reggie Stocker will stand in he flew out his last time out close with the fastball to begin the at bat it's ball one and keep in mind there's speed on the bases here he waits now the pitch oh and not a swing for the bubblegum card there it's one and one
Hit hard back up the middle. And a base knock as that falls in front of Pierre. Time will be called as we'll have a conference on the mound as you see Dodger pitching coach Rick Honeycutt head out for a word. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and here's the second baseman, Ray Durham. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And now we'll see the infield shift into double play depth right here. Runner goes for third. Pitch outside the throw. And it's in time and Roberts is nailed at third. This is just a great grab and release by the catcher. He's got to get that thing out in a hurry and that was right on the money. Coming up on pitch number 65 in Jason Schmidt's afternoon of work. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a called strike two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. One left for San Francisco, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Nomar Garcia Para will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. toward right center. Win is going to get there, though, as this ball gets knocked down by the breeze off McCovey Cove. The San Francisco Bay and McCovey Cove gleaming in the background as we welcome you back inside the broadcast booth. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler from AT&T Park in San Francisco. Jeff Kent will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Takes ball one. On the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Luis Gonzalez will step in. A base hit in his last time. Bring the cheese! Ball one. Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Two now. And he's flying open a bit, Soup. That misses high, ball three. Russell Martin would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. You just can't afford to be putting guys on base this late in the game. Now, all of a sudden, the tying run's going to stride to the plate, so he better get his command back in a hurry. Russell Martin will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. First offering on the way. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Now a 
ball grounded sharply but foul down the line near third. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Right on the Rhino at first, and with that, the side is retired. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We've reached the seventh inning stretch here in San Francisco. The Giants lead it two to nothing. Ryan Klesko will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's one and zero. Oh. Now it's 2-0. Oh, and I think he had him lunging that time, but he was wisely able to hold back. Two zero is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3-0 and oh now. And when you're already down, you don't want to walk the leadoff guy. Now the three and zero oh offering. In there, three and one. A little bit of sinking action on that fastball. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. And he looks at one that misses for ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to get the inning underway. Well, a leadoff walk here to begin the seventh, and that will almost certainly cause the bullpen to really get cranking now. Now here's the Dodgers skipper, Grady Little, making that slow walk to the mound. And we're going to see a new pitcher here, as that's going to be all for Jason Schmidt. He'll leave after six, and at the very least, kept his club in it to this point. Call to the bullpen now as making his way into the ball game will be right-hander Rudy Cianez. Benji Molina will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. Second pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Well, I think he got a little anxious down there at first because after the walk, he's running on the first pitch and makes it in there safely. Grounded foul. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Lays off two and two now. Fastball right by him for the first out. Good time for the strikeout right there. That runner has to stay at second now with one out, so a fly ball here will not do the trick. Runner at second, one away, and in steps the right-handed hitting Pedro Feliz.
first pitch to him. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. And he misses here. No, called a strike on the inside corner. Wow, it's nothing in two now. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. And now that he's established speed away, let's see what he turns to here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw on to Nomar, and that's at number two. Good base running. As a runner, you're taught to go on a ball that's behind you. So even though the shortstop fielded it, his only play was going to be to first. That's heads up. Randy Wynn will dig in with a very important insurance run 90 feet away at third. First pitch coming. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Yeah, down near the thighs. That's a fastball he'll have a tough time elevating on. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Nomar at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So it's no run on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Giants out in front here, two to nothing. Steve Klein is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Wilson Bedamid will dig in, one for two thus far. Klein able to jump ahead of him here with a fastball. It's 0-1. Got to bend the knees and go down and get that one. Now the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. But as you can see on the graphic, as a team, these guys were amongst the worst pitching staffs in the National League last year, but they're getting a very strong performance here today. Andre Ethier will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And we're going to have a pinch hitter now as the veteran right-handed hitting Olmedo Signs grabs a bat and begins to loosen in the on-deck circle. Now the 1-0 pitch. 
And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. And he'll run into trouble if he leaves it there. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Swing and a miss, so the pinch hitter is retired. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down two to nothing. New pitcher set to take over here as the calls out to veteran lefty Joe Bimel. Steve Klein digs into the plate. Chased after that one, and it's nothing and one. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. And let's see if this sets him up for the hard stuff away. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Still not out of this game, not by a long shot, but they need to keep that deficit right at two before they take their final hacks in the night. That's a good first step. Dave Roberts will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. and oh. one -oh pitch now. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. That's a little too good to let go, but not necessarily something he could do anything with. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a one-out single. Third hit of the ball game for him. All of them singles, and he's certainly been a tough out to this point. Omar Vizquel will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Hard liner toward short. And a leaping try there, but he comes up a bit short as this is into left center, the base hit. A couple of guys on base here as they look to perhaps get a few insurance runs here in the late innings. Reggie Stocker will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. four now so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force at the plate is in order well and this is the old saying when in doubt talk it out as they'll gather the entire infield here to make sure they've got the correct play set up Ray Durham will dig in he homered back in the fourth And 
that miss is inside 1-0. fastball for a called strike one and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Outside two and one. Trying to backdoor him but it stays outside just a bit. Hard hit towards center. That's in there. Base hit. Two runs are in. And have a look. The catcher sets the target down around the knees, but this is a good low ball hitter, and he gets good wood on this one. Ryan Pleskov will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. First pitch on the way. Low for ball one. Good discipline there. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now the double steal is on here. Now a swing, but not much behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. Oh, he can't track it down as this ball falls. Well, that's four straight hits he's surrendered now. And that's a good job by the catcher to go out there and try and calm him down. Benji Molina will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And he lays off there 1-0. This misses below the knees. Three runs already home here. He's set now the pitch. Three and oh. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Just a challenge fastball right there, and he didn't want any part of it. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. He hammers that pitch to deep left field, but it'll wind up a foul ball, a souvenir. And ring him up. Strike three called on the fastball, and there are two gone. Second strikeout of the afternoon. Man, how? If you want to watch this game, buy a ticket. Shake yourself. You got a swing right there. Pedro Feliz will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. He's ready. Now the pick. And this is low ball one. This one finds the knees for strike one. And that thing had a little more sweep to it than that pitch normally does. And he misses two and one. Ready with the two one. Oh, and a perfect location there as he catches the corner for strike two. And when you're spotting fastballs there, you are tough to hit. And that 
counts low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. And now that runner on first can get a head start here with two out. straight back. Oh. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So three runs on four hits here, no errors, and a couple of men left. Ninth inning coming up, last chance for Romance. Giants on top, five to nothing. Rafael Fercal will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Good idea trying to work the outside part of the plate with the hard stuff. Looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate, one and two now. Ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And that is over the wall. Home run. A solo shot here to left as they get on the scoreboard here. It's five to one. Well, you might file this under too little too late, but this home run's going to cut into that lead just a bit. This one might not be over yet. Juan Pierre to get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. and a ground ball towards the middle. Throw will be well late as he reaches it first. I don't think he ever got a good grip on this thing because the throw short hops the first baseman and he can't dig it out. Nomar Garcia Parra will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. ahead here with the fastball strike one good idea to take a strike here you need base runs now a move over to first no. and he just manages to get his hand in and this one's downstairs it's a ball and a strike over at first is Pierre with nobody out Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. Here's one hit towards the hole. Durham. On to first, and they get the double play. Ball ticketed for the hole, but a great dive to cut that one off. And then you see him compose himself and get the 5-4-3 double play rolling. That's an ERA saver right there. Jeff Kent is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. in there and it's 0-1. With a good hitter up there, it's always good to get ahead in the count early. And 
And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Here's the one one. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Stocker is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Matt, these two have been going after each other since they were in Brooklyn and New York, so it's always a little more special with the Giants fans when they can knock off the dreaded Dodgers. So the Giants come away with a victory here, and Dave, that leads us to our new era cap heads up play of the game. Matt, this was a big one right here. Tight game at the time, and they were able to get two on this play to snuff out the rally, and that went a long ways toward getting them the victory. And quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference, there he is. He's our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, Matt, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that'll just about wrap things up here in this one. For Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Once again, the final score, the Giants are victorious here, 5-1. to one. This has been a presentation of MLB 07, the show. For more information, log on to MLB07.com. So long, everybody. Thanks for attending today's game. Please drive home safely. Good afternoon.